Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to start back same place where we started yesterday. We are going to go back and start at Ferris. When we watched the video, we realized that we didn't slow down. Yeah, man, we like to carry these journeys in slow motion because we want persons to view where we are going. So we went too fast yesterday. So we are going to slow down and start back at Ferris. All right. So sit back. Relax and drive with me. Now, we are going to be carrying an exclusive today. You are going to want to listen to the end. But, tomorrow, Sunday, we are coming up with another exclusive. Let me give you a hint. You remember a female named Natasha Robinson? She was found dead in the parish of Westmoreland. She's popularly known as Kim, and she's from Kingston. We carried some stories about her. The big question is, who killed Kim? Tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to be giving you some exclusive and explosive information. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss this one. Remember me tell you, because the persons who are implicated, you are going to hear what they are charged for. Yeah, man. I will even go any further in it. You have to listen to tomorrow's story. So, yesterday, we carried a story. We told you that a man named Champy Reed. He was popularly known as Champy or Papi. He was shot and killed by Hoodlum in a parking lot at Catherine Hall in Montego Bay yesterday. It is said that Champy, he drove his motor car on the plaza. He went there to do some business. It is said that whilst he was coming out of the car, he was attacked by hoodlums who opened gunfire at him. He ran off, the hoodlums chased him, and they ensured that Champy, he was taken out. We also told you in yesterday's video that Champy, his father, Mr. Kenyut Reed, Popularly known as Rai, he was 56 years old. Rai was a Jota tour bus operator. He was shot and killed in June 2013 at Bottom Road in Montego Bay. Yeah man, Bottom Road, it's known as the Hip Strip. It was formerly Gloucester Avenue. It's now called Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. So, like we promised yesterday, we are going to be giving some details. But, even more than the details, today... We are going to let you hear Champy in his own words. Persons are asking, what, if anything, was Champy involved in? We have seen some comments. Some persons went to school with him and they used to play football together. They said that when Champy was much younger, he used to play on his school's football team. So the question is, what was Champy involved in? We have obtained some voice notes. Yeah, man, we have obtained some voice notes. Champy was voice noting somebody. As we play each voice note, we are going to be commenting because we are going to be understanding what is happening together. Could this be a motive why Champy was taken out? Or is it something else? Here is the first voice note. Here goes. Yeah, man, my friend at JNRD, I me, know me he did it, man, he live. I just see if he just get her other ideas, you know? Yeah, tell so, a friend, right tell now, a friend, tell a friend. Me, go, me, me have to go push the violence to make the thing move like a quicker, because I have a picture of her daughter and some style, you know? Yeah, so, I me, 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 me know if it's style it. You know? We have our next WhatsApp, I must go write some sitting. Say, yo, I know that be a dog, I know she live and everything, brother. I know this be a good, 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 brother. Yo, I remember she works for you, and them writing them, I go write out, and just cross out a number it up, and just screenshot it, and then make a, uh, uh, you see me? But I wait till tomorrow see if, and, and, and see if she answer. Friend, and then tomorrow, I know, say, yo, boom, I send it. And make her know, say, watch out, man, I don't mean, have to do nothing, no, man. Watch out, one, three, this. Man, I know your daughter, and sit now with school, she go. Because she said she had dropped her daughter go to school, all day, you see me? Yeah, one little girl, I'm sure. Yeah. So, are you following so far? What Champy is telling somebody is that somebody 
is dragging her feet. He identified the person as a female. So somebody is dragging her feet. Why is the person dragging her feet? You soon hear. But Champy is also telling the person who is voice noting that he must go push some violence. What he's saying is that he have an ex phone number. So he's going to WhatsApp himself. And he's going to cross out the number at the top and forward it to the lady. There's also something about the lady's daughter. In the message that we got, we see where Champy forward the lady's daughter to the person who he was voice noting. So, let's go into the next message. <laughs> Why may I tell you, you know? They have a saying, you know? They have a saying, if you play stupid games, you're going to be winning stupid prize or stupid prizes. Here's the next voice note. Cause she sure look effort, you know, because she, she go at the tax office a couple times you know, and then say and then say whatever, you know, print or whatever. But it be like a day sick and I want a wicked way. Cause you know print yet or nothing. So he's saying that the lady is showing some interest because she went to the tax office a few times and they are giving her some instructions. Are you following what is happening so far? No, you're not? Alright, listen to this next voice note. A simple one tree, all she have to do. A simple one tree, all she have to do is just go so boom. And I, I, I clear her ticket, them, you see me? Just clearing ticket, them. And me have to go to my way in order to see how much ticket she owe and everything, you know. And me have to do everything, you know. You see me? All she have to do I just clear her ticket, them, man. But if she go to court and, 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 and sit and then go hold on to her because they, 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 they have warrant out for her. Because 19 ticket. You see, pray. So I must see it she run from. But you have to do what you have to do because I need my money. You see me? Yeah, I need my money. So I have one lawyer. So if that be the case, I make my lawyer forward and she goes to room, room, room and do what she do. Because I need my money out. I need my money. So let me assist you. If you are not following so far, that lady that Champy is talking about, she's supposed to be collecting some money for him. You are going to hear shortly how. That lady get to be collecting that money for Champy. But from what Champy is saying so far, remember that if you are collecting money from certain institutions, you have to present two IDs. It seems as if the lady have one valid ID, but her driver's license is expired. So for the driver's license to be renewed, she have to clear the tickets that are in the system. <laughs> yeah, man. So because she has not yet cleared the tickets, she can't renew her driver's license. So that is what is holding her up from collecting the money on behalf of Champy. Listen to this now. See there? I mean, I forgot how I mean, forget that they're sitting there, isn't it? Yeah, me can link me got a and I get one link, me get one number, me get the number and everything. I mean, I'm I work my way and everything and get this. This is in for you. You see me? And I fear I take it them that. Her name and everything there at the top. See? In? And it, 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 it ticket they must have come to twenty thousand something, twenty thousand five hundred. Twenty that's to twenty grand. All she have to do is clear the twenty grand man. See? But but I think maybe I forgot all the different parishes them where you get stopped and got the court there. One a saint on, one a lose. One. How if you have nineteen outstanding ticket, you want like a worthless girl. You see me, a careless in careless. In careless bad man. Can you tell me say you have two ID and no, no two ID and everything? I see it saying careless. You see me? Yeah. I want a careless person man. You see me? So right now, tomorrow if you not answer the phone man, you go see one different side of me tomorrow. So what Champy did was according to him, he went to Kingston and he got a printout of all the tickets. Alright, we're not sure if he went to Kingston or he contacted somebody in Kingston. But he got a printout of all the outstanding tickets that the lady has. So you are wondering, what is he talking about? What is Champy talking about? You want to hear what Champy talking about? Listen to this. And a June, the money sent, you know. I mean, that from June last year, I made a foreign, you know. June, you know. June, suppose I couldn't check the money on the line right now. My mother feels that she take the money and my mother feels that I want to kill him. You see me? Yeah, yo. I say, you see, when my blood. 
get that the food there. Eh. Mr. said she not get dollar, man. I swear to God, man. I swear to God, man. And if he in front of me, I make up now night. When time we do whatever, I fissy my grung, man. Lick him my grung. You see me? One fissy nine face, lick him my grung, man. You see, pray. Yeah. So, you heard what Trumpy said right there? You heard all that he said? He sent the money from June last year when he was in foreign. So, based on what he's saying, he would have sent the money to this lady. You heard him threatening to use violence. Let us continue to listen to Champy. From last year till now, you you owe that you, you have money for you know go so boom and you know come on man, cause the only way of a voter's ID or your driver's license. If voter's ID I take forever for print, then now print to sitting there. Me no know where I go. Every time we go down the go giant line, it na, it, it, it never print. It na print. Yeah, in a print yet every time then say a town you have to print from and, and in a print yet and come down. Then you hand out other ID and it the fear one no come through. So the only way out right now, cause the voters ID is something you can't hurry up. You can't do nothing, you have to wait. But the driver's license, the driver's license is something that move faster. All she have to become you know, one girl when do it for her September. And I tell her say within three weeks after that she did come back at the tax office and get her license. And she went just deal with the thing, you see me? So fear I wanna renewal. You see me, I just renewal, you know, for this one, you know. The girl before, she just went to get her license, her brand new license. This one, I renewal. So I know nothing, she just clear a ticket, them, and then, and he wash it, and he, and he, and he done. I done, you done, yo. Too much stalling, stalling, in this, yo. May I get fed up, man. May I get fed up, man. May I get fed up, man. I'm too careless, you, you see me. May I take your thing, turn in a badness, you, you see. I'm going to show you her pH panigram. Show you, say, she may I just unfollow her. So, right there, Champy sent, he sent the lady's profile to the person who he was talking to. No, this part is interesting. This part is very, very interesting. Listen to this. Yeah, so I see that, as me? Yeah. So all I have to do, you know, yo, all I have to do, I go down to the voter's place and I make her know, say, yo, I don't you know the voter's ID ready. Is when she come down there? I just met my police virgin go sabo man take her up man and carry her station go lock her up carry her go down a free port because 19 tickets she owe so I can easily f him up in a yacht easy easy you know because once I go down and say that I'm show them all you sit now I just show you the 19 ticket then now nah, she, she get f it, it worse if I tell the police man say yo watch me give you one talk me give you 100 grand out of the 5 bills out of the 5 years me give you 100 so if you are 60, watch if you get you now, go about to get the 60. You see, pray, should I just, should I just not get nothing? And I get the police that, and, and I deal what we are dealing with, and I get my money, and we cut. And I can deal with this, so yo, easy, easy. And then things would have to clear up, because she have to go clear a bill once they lock her up. Then she have to clear all of them. Then go transport her from one station. Yeah, and she couldn't get no bill. Then would have to transport her from one station out of Freeport and to the other station and to the other station until all of the all of them clouds clear up. You see me cause a careless in careless and walkless. For you get take for you get have 19 ticket man. 19 outstanding ticket. Come on man. 19 a careless in careless youth. You see me, I have me there the sitting all along away for my money you me, me, me fed up now man. Me fed up man. So you heard all that Champy said right there. You heard all that he said? You are now understanding what he's saying? He sent 580,000 Jamaican dollars from abroad to this lady. Her fee out of that is supposed to be $60,000. Because her ID, her driver's license is expired and she don't have her voter's ID in hand. She's unable to collect the money from where it was sent. That is what Champy is a legend. <laughs> You heard what he said about paying a policeman $100,000? You heard what he said he would tell the policeman to do? <laughs> now, Champy, he was a licensed firearm holder. Listen to this part of it. And through me, I have a licensed firearm. I don't want to go. You, you see me? I have to care for what I do to you. Because I don't want to it go seem like no threat involved or whatever. So, so, so I me, me know what I have to You see me? Yeah, I me know what I have to Yo, yo, I'm fed up, yo. I want my money, yo, to go, go buy Tyler. My Tyler alone left right now for the arm to start out. So, you have been listening. 
you have been listening. Here is what we are understanding. Champy, he was involved in the game. Yeah, man, the chopping game, the scamming game. He been good. He went abroad, collected the money that he been good, and he sent it to this lady. 580,000 Jamaican dollars. This is just one person who Champy was talking to. Are there other persons who he was talking to? Did he actually went ahead and threaten the lady? Did the lady or anyone around her feel like her life was being threatened? Is this the motive why Champy was taken out? Or is it something else? <laughs> like I said, you play stupid games, you're going to be winning stupid prizes. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Shine out.